still going back and forth with his pediatrician on getting Taeyang blood work done and trying to figure out what was wrong with him because he was still in pain. He was still complaining. Um, we had taken him to the ER. Um, previously, all of them just kept saying constipation, but it didn't make sense because he didn't have constipation. He was going to the bathroom. Um, so that's when uh, his pediatrician had me take him to the hospital for blood test. He wouldn't tell me what the blood tests were for. Um, once those blood tests did come back, he did notice there was something going on with his bone marrow and that um, I needed to go see a specialist right away. So what he ended up doing was calling an oncologist at um, the Children's Hospital in Salt Lake City. And we ended up getting an appointment. At the time, I didn't know what an oncologist was, uh, but I did have a really uh, bad feeling about this appointment. So I did end up just sitting there with um, Taya and I just held him and was just preparing ourselves for this appointment and hoping it wouldn't be bad news, um, but at least that we would know what was going on with him. Okay, so it is morning. Um, I have a mask on, sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get everything. Just trying to relax. <laughs> so, uh, yesterday we got really bad news. Yesterday was kind of bittersweet because we had Dressel's graduation, which was awesome. But in the morning we found out Tang's hemoglobin levels are even lower at a dangerous rate and there's also some issues with this bone marrow so um we are going to go see a specialist at primary children's hospital so we're going to be going there today um to find out what's going on once we were at the appointment, um, we were getting blood work done for Tang. Um, the doctor had came in, he tried to calm me down. He's like, I looked at his blood work before, everything seems pretty okay. Um, I wouldn't be too worried um, about anything serious, and so I wasn't. And then an hour passed, and I'm like, okay, still waiting. And then an hour and a half passed, and that's when I kind of started getting a little concerned. Um, and then that's when um, a nurse right, came in with a bunch of toys and they all started playing with Taeyang and distracting him <laughs> and that's when I kind of got that's a neat. bad feeling. And this one is so fun. It's my favorite toy we have. Okay, that's the car. And then the doctor had came in with a huge stack of papers and that's kind of when my stomach kind of sunk to the floor and I knew he was about to tell me something I didn't want to hear. He did get down on his knee and look me in the eyes and that's when he explained that Taeyang had um, blast in his um, blood and I didn't know what that was so I asked him to explain and he said it's uh, leukemia. Um, your son has um, basically blood cancer, leukemia. We didn't know what type of leukemia he had. Um, but the second the doctor told me that my nose started to bleed, I didn't know what to do. I was so overwhelmed. It was just something I didn't process. I didn't know how to take it in. Um, to me, I thought he was telling me like my son was going to pass away because that's all I ever saw on television. Whereas kids who have cancer pass away, I didn't know otherwise. And I didn't know what to do at that point in time. When they told me that he had leukemia, it was its kind of like the miscarriage where I just, I couldn't understand like what was going on, why it was happening. Um, I was definitely in denial, like, no, no way. Um, not us, not my kid. Yeah. Draw a cat. 
He was admitted and it was just felt like the day is all all mixed together into one day. He was admitted Thursday night, then going into Friday and Saturday and Sunday is just it seemed nonstop with information coming at us, all these different doctors saying we have to do this, that, this is going to happen, this, this, this. People trying to calm us down, like specialists, I guess. And just so many people just coming in and out. And I'm still trying to wrap my head around the fact that, like, my kid has cancer. And, like, now I have to talk to all these people and trying to figure out, like, what what's the plan? What do we need to do? And it just, it, it, was, it was all, like, it just felt like a big blur. Yeah. Wow, a purple. Going to be your color that you have chosen. Yeah, you're hurt. We're getting ready for his surgery. What's happening today? Uh, so we just woke up. It's what is day? Is it day four? Yeah. Day four. We're on day four in the hospital. We woke up. We showered him. I wiped him down with disinfectant wipes after. I didn't lotion him up because I don't think you should, right? But today he is getting his surgeries. He's doing the bone marrow. Um, and then what's the hip one called? I can't remember. They like take a piece of hip or something like that. Yeah. He just really wants his socks on. Come here. And then they're doing his chest port. So they're gonna go under his skin to put it in the chest port. It connects to his main artery or vein. So yeah, he, he's getting the port put in. And what it is is it connects to like the main vein. They'll be able to just prick it and uh, do his chemotherapy through the port and also like labs through the port because um, his veins are so small and he's been pricked so many eight times and they don't want to do that so we're going to do that and um, yeah are you finished with your shower? yeah you're all clean? can we see how big you are? do you want to go stand? Here we go! Look at you! We're going for a ride! Going for a ride! Boom! Good going! <laughs> Alright, Mr. T, I'll see you in a little while, okay? Alright. I'm right here. Mommy and Daddy are going with you, okay? But I'll see you later.
Look at that. Thank you. You're welcome, buddy. It should take air, she'll pull up in just a second. We got out. So we went into surgery a few days later and came out with a port in his chest. And so to me, it was like, okay, well, at least that's the first step. The first step we need to take is to get that port. And then we could begin treatment as, as fast as we can.